this is Pat Fuller back in for another video today. I just wanted to show you guys some of the geeky finds I found at this new thrift shop up on my house. My my neighbor that I've known since I was a little, little girl, who's been kind of like a, a second mom to me since my, my own mom has, has died. Um, Mama Kathy... Um, took me to this, this new thrift shop that opened a while back, uh, right up the road. And I'm always finding something awesome up there. Um, the first time I went, this few weeks ago, I found this Mario Kart shirt. And it was brand new. It still had the, the Nintendo, the paper Nintendo tag clipped on it. So, I thought that was so, so cool. I loved it. Then I was up there the other the other day, day before yesterday, and, or no, before I get to that one, we, when we were up there a couple weeks ago, I found this kid's shirt. It's if you don't know who that guy is down there, that is Vlad Tepish. He is one of a couple of people that were uh, the Bram Stoker's base Dracula on. This is a Dracula shirt. Dracula between 1933 and uh, 1937. Archaeologist Dino Rossetti. Uh, received authorization to open Dracula's casket. To everyone's surprise, nothing was found inside. And it says, uh, under the castle, the legend survives. Original from Transylvania, Romania. That's a kid's shirt. I obviously can't wear it with my baby boob, but I'm going to do what I did with old band shirts back in my groupie days. I'm going to seal up the the collar and the sleeves and get um, craft stuffing and we'll make a t-shirt pillow out of it. T-shirt shape. You stuff it and make so they make awesome throw pillows. I used to do this years ago. So I really love that shirt. I love Dracula. Anyone who knows the history of Vlad Tepish and the um, history of, of vampire lore and who everybody or everybody knows knows um who Bram Stoker is. So I love that shirt. So the other night I was up there and I found another shirt that that I'm gonna make a, a pillow out of. And it's Monty Python Span a lot. Everyone that knows me knows I love British comedy. And I do get kinda irritated when you say something to somebody about Brit being a fan of British comedy, they automatically think Monty Python and Benny Hill. I, and they're just so much more than that. And I'm not a fan of Benny Hill. My parents were. Um, I'm personally not. He's, he just grated on my nerve. But I, but I do love Monty Python. And um, and then there's a, a Tim Curry connection with the Spam a lot. So either way, this shirt was, was a big one with me. And I'm going to make that into a pillow. I found this really cool fleece robe, but I, I have an awesome fleece robe, so I have no no use for it as a robe, but it had these really cool skull crossbones on them, and again, I can use it to make pillows and stuff. I'm really into crafts like that. Then, I really made a huge score. I... I found a box of brand new, I mean brand new with the tax arm, these zombie apocalypse shirts. And they're kind of bigger size, but, you know, with me having arthritis, I don't like anything to touch me. Everything's uncomfortable, so, you know, this, this works for me. So, I'll be keeping one for myself, and maybe a second one is just a, a backup. And then I'm going to give, I'm going to use the other three. For like 
give giveaways and boxes and whatnot. And something else I found that I, I didn't even really know what was on the other side until I just got out of the bag a few minutes ago. But I'd seen this piece of fabric folded up and it looked like a little quilt and it is. But it, it has the different Harry Potter house crest on it. I thought that was really cool. So I snagged it because I love Harry Potter. And Peppa loves Harry Potter, don't you? But when I got it out of the bag a few minutes ago for the first time, because I didn't I didn't look at it at the third store, I just saw the little Harry Potter houses and I snagged it, but when I got it out of the bag, this was on the other side. I'm just going to roll it up. Ah! See the bottom? And I can't get it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'll probably, I don't know, hang it up somewhere, maybe over the window as a um curtain or on the back of my sofa. I don't know. I really like that. I was just going to use it. Use it I said for fabric to make pillows or something, but now that I got it out of the bag and saw it was some kind of quilt, not getting cut up, I absolutely love it, I'm going to use it for something. Yeah, and let's see. And I had to take the tag off because Pat put absolutely loves it and would tear it up, but I found this brand new Scooby-Doo plushie. And he's already played with it, I'm going to have to upload the video. But he loves this. You like him, Bobby? Get him! Get him! I don't have to post the <laughs> post a picture of him. I've got a picture of him uh, where he's he's cuddled up against it. I've I've officially lost this Scooby Doo as my toy. It's it's Pat Foot, and as I said to somebody the other day, it, it's kind of hard having a geeky dog because now we compete with the same toys. You like that, don't you? <laughs> All right. Let's see what was the other thing. Oh, and I found out a couple bags of comics and stuff. Like this is this is more like a a magazine, but it's it's Green Lantern, but it it is a comic, but it's more like a a magazine. But and it's kind of like like the graphic novel, but you know, magazine form. That was really cool, and I love Green Lantern, so I was really excited to see that one. Then I did find a graphic novel comic um, from Dynamite, like it was in my comic bento this month, and but it's chapter two, so I'm going to have to see if I can find it online to maybe read the read the first one before I read this one. But it's Project Superpowers. Or if anybody has the first one and they don't want it, hit me up. That's what it looks like. And it's got a little tear on the back, but, you know, I'm just excited that, that I found it. And it's, it's a superhero comic, so I'll definitely read it. I just would like to find the first one before I get involved. It's got really great artwork. I mean, it's, it's from Dy Dynamite. So, then I found, these were, these were kids, for kids, um, they were in a package of, like, kids readers, and I like these, like these, these are for, for little kids, I, I like that Lego one, but these are like for, like, beginner readers, so, I'll probably give these to a friend or somebody who has, like, little, little kids, but in there, in that same stack of uh, books was um, the Star Wars ones. And they're not really comics. They're like the, the little school readers. But there's up there. They're really cool. I just think said Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars girl. So I... I snagged them up too. And then this around here. And then I, this was in there, this uh Pokemon Pokedex. 
I love playing all the Pokemon games. I haven't played in years, but um, I I just loved finding this. Got like characters. Told you about the characters. It also goes through like where they're from, what they do, who they were, and it and it gives you the um, it gives you like the stats, um. All the different ones and different different moves to kind of like maximize the power of, of whatever Pokemon you're battling with. So I like that book. And then what really caught my eye was there was a stack of manga in there. And unfortunately for me, a lot of them are... Well, I'd say about half are like these. They're not the first volume. But there was this this spawn. And that was volume two. This Dark Angel, which is book three, but I've got to find the first two. So I really want to read this one. Um the Young Magician, now this is number five, but I flipped through it and I've got to find the first one. I've got to read that one too. This one is Sister Red, and it's volume two, but it's not too far, far into it, so I want to find that one. And that, that was the, the four mangas that, that weren't the first one. And this, I'm not sure about. Okay, this is three. This is another one. This one's actually a World of Warcraft book manga. And it's it's book three. I used to play that, but I haven't in a long time, but... I'd still like to read these, and and I don't know, I don't even know if they're around, but I'm going to do some hunting around, but that's inside of the, the Warcraft one. But then there were three in there that were uh, the first ones. There's Captain Nemo, Destiny's Hand, which that's that's my little niece's name, Destiny. So it's Destiny's hand, female pirate, a sexy female pirate. Meow. And I love this little nerdy guy in the back. Then this one, I really, really got to find out if there's any more of these. Cafe Occult. This one's volume one. After Surin's life was tragically cut short on a dark rainy day, she tra traversed into another world where, even after her death, her life is still in danger. That's Cafe Occult. That's the bag. She's so cute. So yeah, I found I found manga at at the thrift store. I would that was so exciting for me. And I got a few other things um over over those three trips up there. I'm going back this Sunday. And then uh, when I was in there the night before last, um, while Mama Kathy was still in there, I popped on to Dollar Tree next door to uh, get a drink. And I found these little, these little tin puzzle boxes. It was a Star Wars one. They had a bunch, but these are the ones that spoke to me because I'm a Star Wars girl, and I really, really love this one. My Little Pony with the Rainbow Dash on it. That's what the puzzle looks like. And here's the, the puzzle looks like for the Star Wars. I thought these were really, really cute. They have a bunch up there, and they're just a dollar. And I like puzzles and stuff, but I, and I'll put these together. But... I really just, I love collector's tins. 
and that's why I snagged these. So I thought they were really, really cute. And then, like I said, I got got a few other stuff there too, um, and whatnot. But I just wanted to share my geeky haul from the thrift store. I thought it was a lot of fun. I'm always finding all kinds of goodies up there that that appeal to me. And I can't believe how much new stuff they have up there, brand new shirts and stuff. So I just wanted to share that. And we will be back here probably next week sometime with some new unboxings. I know, uh, what do we have coming in? We have Nerblock, uh, Classic. I will be getting my very first, uh, Collectible Geek, the, the retro one that they did for, they put on sale last month. Um, and I'm still waiting for my, my review box for Comic Bento. I still haven't gotten it yet. And a couple other things coming in. So we'll we'll be back next week to start unboxing some new stuff. Oh, and I think the I think what a box ships soon too. So we got lots of goodies coming in, don't we, Bubby? Yeah. He wants a biscuit. <laughs> so we will be back next week. Say bye, Bob. Bye, guys.